Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well today I wanted to practice some with charring tulip poplar bark. I've done that before, but there's really not enough mass there to give you any length of burn, so to speak. And the way I usually do it is, you know, like I showed you, take this outer bark off. And, you know, you're left with these ribbons right here. And then usually I take the ribbons and I take and I process them up until it's just a bunch of fibers. I want to see if there's a difference if I don't process them up into a bunch of fibers, if I just char these ribbons right here. Let me show you where I gathered this up. And I also have some river birch bark. And we'll use that to start our fire this morning. Hello, YouTube. I'm David with the David West Channel. Well, I'm down here in my favorite parts of the woods again, gathering up a bunch of tulip poplar. And I've got a load in the Camry. Right here is a river birch. Let's go ahead and scrape on it a little bit and see if there's any betulin just on just underneath this peely bark here. I scraped up just a little bit here, but it's so wet and it was such a small amount it wouldn't ignite. And we'll take it home and we'll fire it off with the keychain fire rod. This here is plenty to try it out. Ribbons of inner tulip poplar bark. And then we have the outer bark on that pile there. We'll throw that in on the fire. But we're gonna start the fire with river birch bark. Let's go ahead and fire up our river burst bark. Here comes the wind. You see the black smoke coming off of that? That's the betulin. B-E-T-U-L-I-N, betulin. Good stuff. Now, when we try this out with flint and steel, the flint and steel technique 
but we're using shirt. This shirt doesn't have any more sharp edges on it. So like I've shown you many times before, you could do the bipolar percussion technique. If this is North Pole and that's South Pole, just take a anvil stone and a hammer stone. <laughs> Broke the anvil stone. Now we have some good sharp edges again. All right, let's start it. Let's start that can cooking. Depending on how well that does, we'll see if we're even gonna make up this can of tulip poplar bark. We're gonna cook that can until that smoke stops coming out of there. But that's not smoke, that's steam. It's gotta expel all that steam, which will only get up to 212 degrees. And once all the steam is gone, then it can get up to 800 to 1,000 degrees to start off gassing that, that poplar bark. And those gases are flammable, so many times uh, the exhaust will ignite. But anyways, when the steam, the smoke, and the flame stops coming out of that can, that's when you take the can out. And I plug the hole up because it's so big so no oxygen can get back in there because you have to let, you have to let the can cool down completely. Because if you take the lid off too soon, then it's gonna ignite the contents. So all of the steam is now expelled and it is off gassing the, all the flammable gases. I can't remember all the different gases in there, methane, is one of the gases, but there's there's plenty of them uh, that will support a flame, so. Let's take it out and let it cool off. All right, less than five minutes, we'll be trying it out and we'll know if I'm gonna cook this one up. All right, let's try it with some leaves off the ground. Good night, it's full of sticks. A lot of times, if you just hold the leaves in your hand and just let the heat of your hand sort of form them and mold them, they'll stay together better. All right, let's see what we got. Looks like it has more body than just the uh, fibers by themselves. Yeah. There's a lot more there to work with than usual. And the shiniest parts there are deposits it didn't get come out of the can, but it just coated the char material. Let's see if it's gonna ignite. I feel like I could get three good chunks off of this and have enough heat to ignite leaves. Let's see. Now, now that I get to breaking into it, it feels like 
There's probably just enough for two ignitions. Let's try that right there. A good sharp chert. Let's see if that's going to stay ignited. Still not crazy about this stuff. I mean, that's a lot of work to go to, to find tulip poplar bark and strip it off and take off the outer bark and then have to process it up for something that's really not that great. Even this is burning up pretty quickly, but it's burning hot. You can see it's almost wanting to go to flames on its own. Let's see if it will with this wind. Let's try it with some pine needles next. Hold on. It's hot really fast, doesn't it? So it'll definitely have its place. If you don't have anything else to char, you don't have any punk wood or you don't have any t-shirt material, it really gets hot fast. Look at that, watch. But for right now, I'm gonna process this up. this dries out it's going to be killer tinder bundle material whether i want to use it for a fair rod or whether i want to use it uh, with an ember like hand or bow drill ember or fire roll ember that's the way i want to use this to a poplar bark all right y'all appreciate you joining me on this one we'll catch you on the next one We'll catch you on the next one.